असलम वेलकम माई YouTube family to your own channel which is Gul Knowledge Hub. Today we are going to discuss an amazing technique and tip which will help you a lot. Because when I ask my students that to be fluent in English and if you want to be a confident public speaker, if you want that you should be a fluent speaker, the only requirement, the only thing is that you should have to practice a lot practice on daily basis the question arises by the students is that ma'am how can we practice on the daily basis we don't have the idea we don't have the concept we run short of the words we run short of ideas on which topic ma'am should we converse on which topic we should deliver our own talk on daily basis ma'am it's not possible for us to think a new topic every day this is the question raised by the students so i have in this video come up with the solution so that you will not run short of your content you will not run short of your ideas you will be so packed with ideas that you can practice your speaking english on daily basis and you will not run short of any kind of idea let's discuss this idea this tip tip and trick but before diving into the video or before starting the video if you are a newcomer welcome to my channel please like share and subscribe the channel and hit that bell icon because it motivates me to make more videos so with this positive note and with a smile on your face let's begin the lesson because we are talking about learning an english language which is often regarded as a boring subject but we don't have to make it a boring subject we have to be lively we have to be happy while learning this lesson this is the basic method of me that teacher should be lively teacher should be happy while delivering the lecture should, so that students can better comprehend the lesson so without any distractions come to the point the point is that the technique which help you a lot in your fluency and in finding out the topic on daily basis is that storytelling yes dear audience storytelling but before analyzing this storytelling and how would you apply it in your daily life i would recommend you a few steps that you should have to follow first of all you sh- you have to watch a story a kids story on youtube channel open the story open the youtube channel and se- and write down in the search bar a thirsty crow for example a thirsty crow you would come out different videos on thirsty crow then start listening to that story while listening you should be concentrated you should be focused give your 100% focus on the story and catch the main theme main idea and vocabulary after listening the story because you can't reproduce all the story so the better it is to summarize the story in your own words but before summarizing it structure it into your mind what is structuring structuring is dear audience to think the whole story which you have recently listened in your mind think about the whole story formulate the whole story in your own mind and remember one thing that stories are always written in past tense whether it is used past indefinite tense means second form whether it is used past continuous tense was and were plus fourth form whether it is used past perfect tense had plus third form you should be well versed in past indefinite past continuous past perfect tense to narrate the story so you have listened the story number 1 you have analyzed the story number 2 you have arranged the same story and you have reproduced the story in your own mind that is done now comes the point stand in front of the mirror 
रिप्रोड्यूस द स्टोरी थ्रू योर माउथ बिकॉज इट इज़ द प्रैक्टिस इट इज़ द प्रैक्टिस टाइम इट्स योर फ्लुएंसी टाइम रिप्रोड्यूस ऑल द स्टोरी विच यू हैव थाट विच यू हैव फर्स्ट लिसन देन थाट एंड नाउ यू आर रिप्रोड्यूसिंग द स्टोरी इन योर ओन वर्ड्स इन दिस वे वट वट वुड यू अचीव वट वुड यू अचीव यू विल अचीव अ न्यू आइडिया एवरी डे यू विल लर्न अ न्यू लेसन एवरी डे न्यू वोकेबली वर्ड विल बी एडिड टू योर मेमरी एंड यू विल बी इन द कॉन्स्टेंट प्रैक्टिस ऑफ फ्लुएंसी बी पेशेंट आई एम गोइंग टू रेड अ स्टोरी हेयर इट्स अ स्टोरी टाइम एंड वॉट इज दिस स्टोरी दिस स्टोरी आई लाइक द मोस्ट एंड आई वुड टेल यू वाई आई लाइक द दिस स्टोरी एंड वट एंड हाउ कैन आई अप्लाई दिस स्टोरी इन माई ओन लाइफ because every story has a moral lesson and moral lessons are the best lessons to be applied in our own life the story which i like the most is such once there was a seagull he was afraid to fly he was afraid to fly the function of the seagull is to fly but he was afraid that if he come out of his nest he would run he would come down he would jump down and he would die this was his fear this was his fear and what is your fear fear of speaking if i speak people will laugh the same kind of fear was felt by seagull he was afraid that if he fly he would jump down and he would die this was his fear and your fear of speaking these two fears will be erased at the end of the story definitely now his mother time and again insisted that you should fly so that you can feel the vastness of the sky one day seagull was persuaded seagull agreed and he stepped out of the nest fearing but when he was out of the nest his wings helped him and he and in the next moment he was in the sky he was conquering the sky he was enjoying the beauty of the sky he was enjoying the weather he was enjoying the air he discovered that the fear was no nothing he was fearing for nothing because the life is so beautiful after this he had to take the courage the moral lesson or the thing which i derive from this lesson is that man should take courage and do something and do first step you should have to take your first step in the form of speaking in the form of practice on the daily basis you should be persistent you should be regular and if you apply any story on regular basis in this way your listening skills will be improved what would you get your listening skills will be improved by listening the story every day you will get the new idea to reproduce through your mouth in this way your practice will be enhanced your vocabulary will be enhanced and you will be in the better position to to say a thing in the best possible manner you will come to know the ups and downs of the speech where your speech should be up where should your speech should be down each and everything you will catch from that story grammatical structure the sentence structures will be automatically added to your account added to your mind this is the miracle of story and hope you have understood the this idea and let me know in the comment section is this helpful for you definitely it is helpful for you because the problem is solved content will be available ideas will be available ideas are everywhere you just have to gather you just have to pick pick the ideas and make your own story like there are different flowers in the garden you just have to pick flowers and make your own bouquet it's up to you whether you make a bouquet or waste them it's now up to you whether to pick up the ideas and make a beautiful story or whether you waste the story it's now up to you because it's up to the man it is in the destiny it's not in the destiny 
in man's character is destiny man can build his own destiny man can man is the architect architect of his own destiny and i want you to be the architect of your own destiny because it's only a language nothing more treat this as a language speak in the language speak confidently speak fluently and you will not run short of the words because you ha- you will practice a lot once you have practiced you will not you will not be exhausted by the words you will not be exhausted by the content you will not be exhausted by the ideas till the next video stay happy stay blessed thank you so much have a nice day